is uh, uh, these people you know fitness folks they they take a 2006 book and start you know uh, promoting wrong things so so ideally you to understand that uh triglycerides either you get from the from the fat you consume or your the the excess carbohydrates is something which is con- converted by your liver into triglycerides and fatty acids and again uh, unlike uh, you know cholesterol and saturated fats which uh, uh integrate in your cell membrane uh triglycerides do not do that they they actually are deposited in the in the lipid droplets in the cytoplasm so they are cytoplasmic lipid droplets and these are meant to these are beneficial organelles which are meant to protect your cells right so it regulates your lipid metabolism it it acts as a precursor for synthesis of new cell membrane right it prevents lipid peroxidation right it it actually uh helps in in preventing the cells from from the a uh, lipotoxicity right uh, it further uh, communicates with other organelles like uh, mitochondria right uh, to actually uh, uh, you know uh, regulate the lip- lipid uh, uh, and protein transfer and synthesis right so so protein turnover synthesis a lot of the lot of cellular functions you know you need these lipid droplets to play a key role right and again so all these triglycerides are stored there so so what happens is in the liver you know they convert into triglyceride actually since it is not soluble in water it is packaged with very low density lipoprotein what is called vldl and it it travels to different body parts including muscles including heart and adipose tissue right and again uh, it is stored in adipose tissue at the time of need uh, you know so it's it's like a cellular uh, energy deposit at the time of need it is broken down into into free fatty acid which is used for energy right so so again the, the problem with the triglyceride i think uh, uh, i had an interview last week with one of the uh, leading journalists right and we we discuss about this that the clearance of your triglyceride depends upon since your uh, triglyceride depends upon your functions of your gut and oral microbiome for instance if your oral microbiome is producing nitric oxide nitric oxide is something which regulates your glucose uptake so it reduces your triglyceride levels right similarly if it's uh, if it is uh, doing in- inflammation and producing lps which could lead we go to liver and it could lead to liver damage and it could lead to accumulation of uh, triglycerides you know which which leads to high tg level right and similarly for for gut microbiome also if if your body is producing enough uh, bitrate bitric acid which actually leads to increases the fatty acid oxidation which reduces the 